Now we have sized our pipes and achieved our desired flow distribution throughout the system, we can begin the process of sizing a pump. Fluid Flow 3 has a unique set of components called auto components, which allow us to specify a control flow or pressure at a point in the system. Fluid Flow 3 will then provide information with which we can use to size real world components such as pumps and control valves. At this stage we are going to use an auto booster to provide a duty point for our system. Let's select an auto booster from the component palette and place it in the inlet line. We can specify a duty flow of 50 meters cubed per hour from our pump. You can now see we have a suction side and discharge side to our model. We need to be careful though because previously we had only modeled the discharge size. By dropping the booster component on this pipe we have split the length of it in half. So to rectify it, let's set the discharge pipe back to 30 meters and set the suction pipe to 3 meters, assuming that the pump station is adjacent to the tank. Now that we have defined our duty flow at the auto booster, we can no longer do it at our inlet boundary. That's okay because now this node represents the tank or reservoir on the suction side of the pump. So we can change it to a pressure node. And assume that the tank is open to atmosphere. We can also give the tank a small elevation advantage to provide positive suction head to the pump. Before we hit calculate, let's just so show some results on the flow sheet that are unique to the auto booster. If we open up the dialog, we can see some results that we haven't come across before. Duty flow, duty pressurize, and duty MPSH available. Let's check them and then hit calculate. You can now see that our flow distribution remains unchanged. We're still getting our required flow rate to each offtake. We can look at the auto booster results and see that we have a duty point with which we can now approach pump OEMs to select a suitable pump. It is more likely that we, when designing a system, a duty range will be supplied. This can be investigated in Fluid Flow 3 by simply changing the set point of the auto booster to generate a duty point at the maximum, minimum and operating flow conditions. Now that we have determined the duty point, we can install a pump component into our model. This will allow us to assess the suitability of proposed pumps in the system.